Alrighty, I argued with myself for a while <coughs> before deciding this was the painting I was going to work on today. And I'll tell you why. It's got um, three coats of gesso on it. I'm sorry, four coats of gesso on it. Two white and two gray. And then the white, it's got a white layer, two layers of gray, and then a white layer. Um, that's not why though. The um, So now I've sketched this ship in here. I'm ready to go with that, but I originally thought that I would just paint this, um, you know, over, and then it's got a, down here, it's got a, a coat of black gesso, as you can see. That's where the ocean's going to be, but <clears throat> I kind of changed my mind about what I want to do with it. So I'm going to try something a little different because I want to paint this ship at, at night. So I'm going to do this whole thing in an underpainting in a Brene underpainting and if I mess that up then I can just start sketching all over again but <laughs> um, so we're going to kind of be mixing uh, black canvas work with with this um, Brene style of painting that I've been doing in the last couple of months off and on so, um, so let's get going Let's get started. So over here I've got some linseed oil that I set out yesterday. And let's just start. And this has got some, this is burnt umber with linseed oil mixed in. And as we go, we'll, we'll use less and less of the medium probably start stealing paint off the different side. And I could have done this with a bigger brush, but I'm not in a hurry, so. We'll be doing a lot of this right-handed today. I'm a left-handed painter, but I kind of paint with both hands. I've got a hurt left shoulder, so, you know, we'll just tore my rotator cuff. So, until that gets fixed, which, I don't know. So, I, I use it sparingly. So, get over on this side, probably be easier for me to use it. I can only hold it up for a while, and then it gets so tired on that weak spot that I can't can't handle it. It's getting better, I think. Um, I think, I'm not for sure, because they're not even sure what's wrong with it. They haven't done an MRI. So it all got all of my medical work got caught up in the in this uh, stupid coronavirus crap. So, so I'm just kind of left on my own. I guess the VA will eventually get back to me. But okay, that's looking pretty good. Da -da 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 -da. And if you're tired of watching me do this part, you can just skip ahead. Or if you just want to hang out, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll solve all the world's problems. So today we put up um, on our YouTube channel. We put up at this, as of this recording, we put up um, Leslie, which is another another uh, canvas that was underpainted. I, I did the actual painting for a friend, named Justin. He's actually. He's actually a, a good friend of Little Painter Girls, and so uh, by, by association, he's my friend. Too. He's he's nice to her, so that's all it means. That's all it takes to be nice to her. Be nice to me. Get be on my friends list. So she's a very kind, kind person. Very um, very nice little lady. Girl was raised right. All right. Left-hand action going here. Oh, I hope this comes out okay. I have no idea. I've never tried to do this with a mixed approach like this, but we'll see. I don't see. I don't really see how I can go too wrong. But, but that don't mean it can't go too wrong. We could be. We could be making a big mess right here. And we are actually going to put 
carry this burnt umber down into the black, in case you're wondering. Man, I might have to get some more medium out, or make some more, because I'm almost out. If you're wondering, am I turning my brush in two different directions, the answer to that's a yes. Sometimes I'm doing it this way, sometimes I'm doing it backwards. And if you want to know why, uh, there's no reason. Just because. Sometimes I go this way and sometimes I go that way. over a little bit onto the black. I think maybe I won't take it down there. I think I won't take it down there. I mean, the part that I've got on there is fine, but I don't think, there's really no reason to push it on down into that black because it's gonna, I don't think it'll mess up my chalk. I guess we'll just do it. We're gonna, let me tell you why I'm going to, I am going to do it. Um, because it'll, it'll give me some cohesion between the top portion of the painting and the bottom portion. We carry this burnt umber, it'll still kind of, you know, shine through it a little bit on the ship. And a little bit in the water. But not so much. Not so much in the water. It's okay. It's all. It doesn't matter. still see all the pencil marks and everything pretty well here, so that's good. We'll, we'll just go ahead and put this on down. The ship's going to be shades of brown anyway, so. I don't really think it'll make too much difference when I do the white back, anyway. But. You know, up until I started doing this Brunet painting thing, my uh, number one paint used the most was absolutely was titanium white, and now it's burnt umber, I think. I'm not painting as many landscapes this way. I've been painting a lot of different other different things, so, you know, it's not so many snow scenes and stuff, I guess. That's probably it. Probably it. Alright, so I have three rolls of paper towels down here now. So if I don't cut it out, Wendy's going to beat me with a stick, stealing all the paper towels. Alright, <laughs> out of the closet. How many rolls of paper towels do you think you need? Oh, 20. Okay, so here we go. Alright, we're going to wipe this back. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Let me tell you what I see here. I've got a really lean, really lean medium here. It's, it's drying really fast. That's great when I want to want things to dry really fast, but I don't. In this particular case, I don't. Whoa, get back over there. So I think what we'll do, I think what we'll do, is we're going to take just a little bit of medium. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if this will work. It's a one inch brush. That's looking better. 
So we're just taking a one inch brush and some of this medium. We're still doing okay with the pencil marks. I'm gonna wipe this brush out. Ugh. You know what? I think I'm gonna clean this brush, but I'm not gonna take this overless mineral spirits back up to the canvas. That would be disastrous. So I'm going to just get another brush. I think I'll take this one. Let's put a little Bob Ross brush here. A little more medium. And we'll kind of do the same thing again. Now this looks a little more dangerous on this one because this brush picked up more, more medium than the last brush. I don't care if there's too much if there's brown stuff up in the sky. Too much because um, I'm gonna have clouds and stuff up in here, but I don't want it on this edge. I don't want it on this edge. Okay, that's working out. Now in the past when I've done this, I've never done this, but in the past when I've had that problem like that, I, I've just gone ahead and painted it and and while it comes out okay, it, it it wasn't really, you might be wondering why I'm like lightening it right here. And the reason for that is because there's going to be, this is going to be kind of a night time scene. So I need that sky to be a little bit brighter back there. Okay. I think I'm going to go with that. Well, you know, maybe not. I think I'm going to do something different here. Let's do another brush. A little bit of medium. Oh, great, I dropped the cup. light as it could be but since it's going to be kind of a nighttime it's going to not be uh, it's going to be a nighttime scene so it'll be all right all right so every time i record something i end up dropping things on the floor so let's see however many minutes in we are you can double check it on the video keep count i've already dropped two things so keep track of that be something for y'all to keep you keep you busy while you Watching me do this. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's start doing the sail work. So let's start off with some lights. We'll just kind of use these Q tips. And I think, I think the method I'm going to go after, I've never painted a ship before, so I'm going to have to kind of feel this out as I go, but I think the method I'm going to try, so I'm going to have most of my highlight on this, this edge of the cell, this left hand side of the cell, and then I'm going to let it drift back into the darker color as it gets closer to the cell. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, I think that's going to work okay. So, so we'll add some more paint back on that side in a minute, in a little while, somewhere down along the line here. I, I, I didn't Sometimes, sometimes some paintings, like my Volkswagen painting that I did, Snuggles, the, um, I spent a lot of time thinking about that painting and what I wanted to try to do with it, and when I got ready to paint it, it was like, boom, 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 it just came, really came together fast. Um, I was really kind of shocked by that. Um, but, on this one, 
since I don't really know, since I've never really kind of done anything like this, it's it's been kind of, um, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it. I could think about it, but since I've never done it before, until I get in here and learn some lessons, it's going to be kind of difficult to come up with some things. Like, which sale should I start with? Because I did the same thing with that when I was sketching it. I was like, oh my god. Where, where do I start? Where do I start? So, believe it or not, I started right right there. Right there on that. I started on that, worked my way in, went up this cell, cleaned this cell. Then I came over and did this one. So, yeah, it was it was interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a little bit more of this work here, and then we'll start working on the rest of this. Flags line two sales. One of them will be the Assassin's Creed flag when we're done. I haven't decided what color I want the sails to be yet. I have given some thought. Got a bunch of different colors, but I don't think they're going to be white. They're either going to be a, a lavender color or they're going to be red. Crimson. So, like the inside dark part will be blizzard and crimson, and then other shades coming out until they get into kind of a brightish red color. And that's coming out. And we're gonna we'll take some more of this off later. We're just kind of getting some ideas here about where we want things to be. How we want these shadows to fall. This is all going to be dark down in here. And the sail comes up like right here, so this will be dark and light. But it's going to be relatively dark in behind that. So, yeah. Let's... All right, that looks pretty good. I imagine, I don't know, but I imagine that this sail will be the shiniest one. It just seems like it ought to be. It's on the top, it's in the front. Seems like it would catch a lot of moonlight. It's not coming through all these other sails to get up here to it. So. Keep my big head out of the way. I'm sorry. You may be wondering if I'm picking up any paint. Yes, I, I am. It's a little hard coming, but it's coming. Now, if I decide to go with a crimson sail, the hardest part will be getting this sail to not come out as pink. That's good enough. Let's start laying some outlines. So, as usual, let me see. I don't want to bring this uh, baby oil, or not baby oil, this uh, clear medium up to the canvas. So I'm going to wipe it off of the palette, but I'm still going to have room for that oh. burnt umber. All right. There's a lot of lines in this baby, so it's going to take some time. So let's get started. I think I'll turn this over. I'm going to work from the bottom. I'm going to work from the bottom up. There we go. This might be the wrong way to do this, because I may what what I may find out is that 
um, I may have a problem with like touching this with my hand. I've got I got a stick to use to hold it hold my hand away, but I don't need a solid line there really. I just need Why is that paint not dry? Why is it that paint coming off? All right, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Cheat up a little bit. Use a little bit of medium, but I mean a very little bit. Let's see if that'll. I think the problem here is the canvas is too dry already. Yeah, it seems to be it. Let's see. If, let's see if we can fix that. So when you're pulling straight lines, you've got to move your whole arm. You can't move your hand. If you do try to do that, you will pull. You will pull your. It'll pull your brush off the off the line. So like you, you can't rest your hand and pull it. You gotta pull the whole line. Oh boy, this is gonna be. I might have done better to paint this straight up because I might have to paint it twice actually. All oh, this stuff. That's okay. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. Got nowhere to be. That's more important than this. Alright. So I'm going to reload my brush, but this is a long, quite a long pull here. It's about to come up. Probably not the longest one I have to make today, but it's pretty darn long. I just want to strengthen this line just a little bit right here. Just a little. Some mass coming up through here. I'll turn the brush the opposite way. All right, and I got a little bit of a run over there, so we're gonna just kind of later paint would have overlaid that. It wouldn't have made any difference, probably, but. Just deal with it while it's wet. Okay, let's bring this one. Some medium to this now to draw these flags. We have a bunch of little curly cues in them, and I'm going to need that to make them do right. There we go. There's one. One more. line a little stronger. 
I don't think I want to make the sail line any stronger. Alright, let's go to the side here and see what we got. Well, we got some down pulls, and that's those are those are really tough. I don't know about that right away. Um, ugh, this is going to be tough. It's right in the middle of the canvas. All right, uh, where's my stick? Here it is. Trying to understand. The pencil marks are kind of a little bit faded right here, but that's okay. I can see what it is. Now, let's deal with this one. It's coming along, it's coming along. Need my stick back. I don't have one of those fancy sticks like Marion has. I just got a a nice dowel rod from the Home Depot. But it, it'll work. It'll work. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was gonna be great. This is a great idea. Oh my gosh. What am I thinking? Oh my. All right, there we go. I'm gonna start right in the middle of this mast and bring it out and then thicken it. I'm just freehanding that. All right. Okay, let's get. So, in using this angle brush, I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned over time is when you start to run out of paint, ugh, when you start to run out of paint, stop and reload it with paint because there's a tendency, at least I have a tendency, let me say it that way, maybe other people don't, are not so, you know, messed up in the head, but I have a tendency to um, when I start to run out of paint, pushing harder on the brush. 
And that, my friend, will mess you up. It'll just make your brush get, it'll make your stroke get wider. Wider. Not wider. Wider. And then that's just terrible. <laughs> it's not what you're trying to do if you're trying to fine line it. Okay. So now, get this line. I think I can probably do that by hand. I think this is low enough I can do it by, low enough down the I'm gonna try to, I think I'll leave the lines until la these um, riggings. I'm gonna leave that till last. Now this sail here might give us a trouble. I tell you why. Because it runs from the white to the black and all the way off to the other side. Reloading, reload, reload. Not too worried about that because this this part will get a lot of shading. And that mast is behind sails all the way down, just this one is not, so all right. We Let's do this. Let's do this side. This is even trickier. All right, so, all right, well, that's okay. Let's get this mast a little wider. All right, and then what do we got here? We got this cell coming down. Man, I hope you guys are getting all these really good examples of what not to do. Because <laughs> this, is, this is like the learning channel here. All right, so we got another sail right here. And it's like... Like that. And this mast comes down. This one's tied to that one. I'll do the Q tip. Okay, so got a little off line right there. That's okay. We'll just erase it. All right, we're good. So I don't know. Maybe if I like ships, I'll I'll start painting them. I've never really been super drawn to do this, but. I don't know. I have a bunch of them hanging in my office, so evidently I like them. That have been painted by other other artists, relatively famous artists like Sine. Um, I didn't know he was a famous artist when I bought it. But turns out they were. So I have a couple of them. I bought at auction. Nobody wanted them, so you know. I was like, ah. That's good. It's always good when you're at an auction. And you're the only person that wants it. All right, we'll, we'll clean this up in just a little bit, in just a minute. So let's just get this done. Okay. Now let's get this Q-tip up here a little bit, this part. We can deal with the rest of that in shadows. That's not a problem. I need to...
Oh, okay. So this cell doesn't end here. It comes all the way down like that. And then it comes up like this. And down. And then over this way. And that's why you can't see the rest of this cell. I mean, you can see it a little bit like right here. Let's put the these yard arms in. And these are crossing the, the bow of the ship. Uh, I think a little painter girl ought to paint one of these. That's a good idea. I think I'll bring it up to her. I'm sure she'll want to jump right on it. Maybe not. She loves to hear my ideas, so she knows not what to do. <laughs> Nothing else she can use me as a bad example, I guess. I don't know. All right. Let's quit fiddling around now and get some of this hard work done. It's harder work done. Let's start up at the top. This will probably be the hardest thing I have to do right here at these lines. I have put way too much pressure on that brush. Sail back into. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to erase that part where it got fat. And we'll put it back in. After, yeah, we'll go ahead and put this back in, then we'll put the sail back in. And the problem I'm running into is pulling this. I don't really have a rest for my arm. I'm pulling this and keep this brush nice and flat and I'll show it to you here you see how flat how worn to a not worn it's not worn it's it's a new brush but um what a chiseled edge it is and you know you just have to kind of pull this as best you can whispering to myself. Don't want to bring you in on it until I make up my mind. No, I'm just kidding. The, um, look at it nice and fat right there. That's terrible. All right, let's fix that. Now, you know, there is, when I first started painting, if I had something like that happen, I'd be like, ah, I'd be so, I'd be so freaked out. And I'd be so so stressed out that when I got done I'd be I'd literally be soaked in sweat don't don't there's just don't even get that because don't get that way because there's nothing there's nothing that you can do that you can't fix so I mean you've seen me drop my paintbrushes and you've seen me like say oh no no actual medium. Oh, okay, medium. You see me drop my stuff on the floor, my paintbrushes on the floor, and yet still here we are. We still got this painting. I, honestly, I heard Bob Ross say one time, "You don't really start learning until you mess something up." Or maybe that was Nick. Nick Hankins might have been the person that said that, but it might have been Bob. I don't know. Nick, if you see this, which I doubt, but if you do happen to see this, did you say that? Because it sounds like something you'd say. 
Oh man. I think I'm just leave those pencil marks for that extra rigging there for right now. Let's put this in. Okay, not a bit of paint came off of that brush, so let's put some medium in it. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Alright. Let's erase it. Let's try it again. It ain't much straighter in pencil than it is, than it is with my brush. So, yeah, I don't know if that's helping any either, but, uh, you know, I'm a terrible sketcher. Em keeps trying to, Emily keeps trying to teach me how to sketch, but I don't know. I did sketch this. I, yeah, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. This is the sail coming down. All right, let's get to ship. So we're going to paint the top part and push down on the brush. There we go. Now we're going to paint the, come in here about there. Paint the bottom in. And that's good too. Okay, now I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with any of the rest of that for right now. Until I get the rest of this done. Until I get these lines painted. I think they're going to come out okay. I think they'll be fine. I can remember when I went to Nick's class. We painted this. I don't have. I used to have it hanging right over there, but I don't anymore. Um, we're just painting along, and then Nick pulls, you know, like one of these Bob Ross things that Bob does. Okay, we have these nice trees, and I'm thinking, oh, my painting, it, just, it looks pretty good. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. I'm feeling kind of confident, and Nick's like, let's paint a squirrel on this branch right here. I was like, okay, uh, I don't know if I want to do that. But he's like, come on. I'm like, uh. Okay, so I painted this squirrel. I swear to Lord, it looked like a rat sitting up in a tree. Nick Nick, Nick was like, boop, boop. He had a little squirrel. I'm like, boop, boop. Oh, I got a little rat sitting up in the tree. That's terrible. That's a terrible looking squirrel. But he, Nick is Nick. He just kept on, kept on encouraging me. And of course, he's teaching down at the Bob Ross studio now. So, you know, he's... He's the big dog down there now, and rightly so. He's the guy is so freaking talented. Oh my god, he's just amazing. And he's got a little baby now, a little baby Nick. I'm surprised he ain't been painting little pictures of little baby Nick, but not yet. I don't guess Ada's talked him into doing that yet. I'm going to leave the rest of this boat alone for now. I don't think I need to do anything to it. I don't want to cover up the lines that I've put it placed in the boat until I'm ready to put the highlights on it. So, All right, let's start adding some shadows, though. Let's see. So I've decided I'm going to put these shadows in close where these sails come together. Let's keep using this brush until I decide I don't want to. Because I'm kind of blending with it at the same time. I'm trying to sort of wiggle that line out. So. I don't really have a lot of paint in this brush, but I don't really need a lot of paint in a brush at the moment. But I do need some, so if I run out, I'll stop and get some more. All right. Oh, 
Okay, let's blend that a little bit. I think I'll blend it with the filbert. Just because. I don't know, I got this little bitty fan right here. This, this might work pretty good. Let's try this. And I really remember that we're going to be glazing over this, so you know it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me do this. All right, let's start getting some of this other. Oh my gosh, I just don't even know where to start. There's, <laughs> there's so much. There's so much to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, this part here is pretty dark, so let's put this in. Honestly, guys, I think that's a, as much as I like that brush. I don't think I want to use it for that. Let's try it with this. Let's try it with this filbert. Probably should have started at the bottom. I'll keep this fan brush out because if there's anything I need, it's more more brushes to get out at one time. All right, let's get this in. I'm going to move some of this paint off the top and move it down here to the bottom. It's too dark up there. All right, now let's get... Where's my Q-tip? Oh, there. All right. All right, so we've got... I had to pick this up so I look at it for a second. I have this set. This cell, this cell, okay. Right in here, there's an arch that I didn't call out. Okay, now let's fix that. Like I say, there's there's so much, so many pieces to this puzzle. I learned that when I was drawing it. And actually, I thought when I was drawing it, it was a pain. But wait, like it further into this painting, I bet it's really going to be a pain. But it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. All right, I can use this brush again right in here. And around this part. Now that may mean that I'm going to have to end up darkening that mask a little bit more. So yeah, definitely, we'll have to darken that mask a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, now let's just bring this back up a little bit. Okay, and then this part appears going to be. Darker than that, but lighter than this. I mean, darker than up here than it is already, but lighter than it is downstairs, maybe. Are you painting with a Q tip? I am. I'm mean, going to paint my fingers too. Okay, here we go. All right, yeah. Okay, I like that. Now, okay, we're going to have to put some medium on. I'm going to have to turn this because I'm about I was about to make a mistake, a big mistake, right there. In that, I was getting in a hurry. I was going to pull that line in, and I didn't have my hand in a place where I could actually do that. So I would have ended up pulling it with my hand instead of with my arm, and that would have been bad. Oop, got a little carried away. Got so carried away with doing it right, I messed up. All right, let's fix that. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
All right, so the rest of this, I'm going to have to handle this the same way I did when I when I sketched it. And that is, I'm going to have to work with one one piece of this at, at a time. And then just kind of work my way down. All right, so let's work on... Uh, okay, so let's see. That part, this part here, is open to the sky. So I need another brush, because... I mean, after all, why not? Um, so I'm going to use this little guy. It's a little, a teeny little flat. Number two. I'm going to put some medium on this brush, and then I'm going to wipe it out. And right up here, I'm going to lift some of this paint off. Now, that's not quite the same as wiping it with a Q-tip, because with the medium on there, it's going to lift the paint just about all the way back to the canvas. I'm trying to you know, like leave a thin layer, but I don't know if I'm going to manage that. We'll find out in a second. There we go. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Eh, I don't know. Maybe it should maybe it should be a little brighter. All right, so we're going to dip it again. We're going to try it again. Okay, now, in doing that, I can see this is actually something else that I've learned I'm doing this sketching. Um, in doing the sketch, it, it was pretty easy to get things off track because there's so many sales and so much, so much ship to deal with that... Um, that it's easy to, to, to get some things crossed up. So let me show you what we're going to do here. First of all, we're going to fix this cell. The cell's not right, so I'm just going to erase that. I'm going to leave that bright spot open. Okay. And we're going to come back with this. And I can clearly see on the sketch Up the mast. Here we go. And that this that this sail should be straighter. There we go. Alright, that looks okay. Alright, so from there we've got I'm going to go to an even smaller filter. I kind of like this brush, but I've not tried to use it for this. We'll see how this works. Okay, I'm not going to get too carried away with this because... There's some shade. I don't want to turn my brush over because it pick up more paint because I'm trying to blend this down as we go. This part. got it there, but I didn't quite get it there. Okay. 
now. Alright, so we've got this sale. And then we've got... This is the part I'm struggling. Oh, okay. Let's see right here. We've got this part of this sale coming down. That I didn't line in. And now all this has to be shaded. Let's get my little filler. So we're shading in this sail back here, and then we're going to make these make these masks just a little bit darker. So, I'm going to pause this video at this point, because I have a feeling I'm about to run my camera out of memory. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. So let me take this moment to, to take a break, and well, I'll tell you what, let's do this little clear spot first. Let's do this little clear spot first. Oop. Way too much medium. Still, let me get it off of the canvas. Okay. Q tip. Hopefully, the Q tip will save me here. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll put some of the rest of that back in. Alright. Trash. Clean the brush. Okay, so <clears throat> that'll give me a chance to, to dump this video onto my hard drive and then we can come back and work on it some more. Straighten that cell. Okay, so thanks for hanging along. We'll come right back. <laughs> 